So what's your intuition on how quantum mechanics uh, works or, or, or will there ever be uh, <laughs> a, a connection with, with general relativity? You know, like Richard Feynman, for instance, um, it's known for saying, we'll never understand quantum mechanics. And, and if someone says they understand it, you probably don't. So <laughs> do you have a, a general intuition on how quantum mechanics work? Well, okay, um, I do have the rather strong opinion that it doesn't spend, it doesn't pay off to spend too much of your time trying to understand or interpret quantum mechanics as it's currently formulated. Uh, there are plenty of people who spend their, their whole um, uh, working life doing just that. Uh, and I, I really don't think it's, it's um, a worthwhile use of one's time, simply because I'm, I'm fairly convinced that in a hundred or two hundred or five hundred years' time, people are not going to be believing that quantum mechanics is the whole truth. Now, um, of course, then the obvious question is, OK, what's going to replace it? But I think we're really in the position of um, that people might have been had they taken things seriously in 1876. Now, why do I say 1876? In 1876, um, what uh, mechanics, what what we now call classical mechanics, but right. they would just say mechanics. Mechanics was going um, strong. Um, seemed to be, um, uh, together with um, the electrodynamics of Maxwell and so on and so forth, it was, seemed to be explaining um, just about all the experiments that people could do. Um, but in 1876, Willard Gibbs um, came up with what is now known as the Gibbs Paradox. And this has to do with the, the um, behaviour of the entropy when you mix two species, of, uh, two, two volumes of an identical gas. And there seemed to be some kind of uh, contradiction there. Now, Gibbs himself seemed to regard this as just a sort of minor accounting matter. But I think that if people, it was a virtue of hindsight, I think one could see, had people um, really taken that seriously, um, they would have had to come to the conclusion that um, mechanics, or as we would say classical mechanics, had to break down at some stage as you went from the everyday level to the level of single atoms and molecules and so forth. They would not have known uh, when it was going to break, break down, they would certainly not have known how it was going to break down, but that it was going to break down, they would have, could have known and should have known in some sense in retrospect. Of course, we now know that it did break down and it led to quantum mechanics. That, that, that would have been impossible for them to guess, but they say that something was going to go wrong. I think we're in the same position now with quantum mechanics. We don't know we don't know when it's going to fail, we don't know how it's going to fail, but that it's going to fail, I think we know. Um, and that, that's why I think that one's efforts, rather than trying to, uh, to find more and more sophisticated interpretations of quantum mechanics as we now know it, um, I prefer to spend more time uh, trying to devise experiments which may conceivably show it's, going to, it's not going to work. <laughs> That's true. Like I was, I was reading about it some time ago. Like, when we run these experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, for example, we we hope that we observe something that we weren't expecting, because yeah. that's more exciting than proving our theories, right? Because we want to be surprised. We want to, we want to experience something that we thought did not exist, and then we can focus on that and see why that happened. Oh, yes. Like we would yeah. want our models to fail. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. yeah. that's how we learn and like make better ones. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Mm. Yeah. And I, the goal should be, like you said, not necessarily understand, to understand everything about quantum mechanics because, like you said, in 100 years or 50 years or whoever, however long, it will, it, will, it will fail in some way. So, therefore, our efforts, or at least part of our efforts, should be focused on designing the experiment. That would prove um, that would make quantum mechanics, you know, quote unquote, mm. fail. Yeah, but of course, returning to your 